smoke the rest. And I like the stats. I'm balling off the front. I'm pretty much finished packing. I do have a few more items that are supposed to get here tomorrow. We don't leave until 8 though, 8 p.m. But we'll probably get to the airport around 6 p.m. So I need to make sure I have all of my paperwork. Obviously we had to get tested for COVID, so we're all negative, thank God. Um, wanna print that out, wanna make sure I have all my documents lined up, packed up, and ready to go, so. Okay guys, we made it to the airport. Um, Delta International Terminal? Yeah, Delta International Terminal. This is my first time getting, going out of the country, so I'm excited. There's mommy. Oh, they got all their Perry on today. But yeah, we're about to be next in line. Oops. Selfie. I'm gonna do a hussy. <laughs> I was just saying how like the international terminal is just totally different feel from like the regular airport like it's calm it's literally nobody in here I mean it's people here but it's pretty much nobody here like this is how you would want to come to the airport oh this is my outfit I got literally everything from Shein. So this is a three piece with the shoes. Okay guys, so we made it to Amsterdam. Now we have to figure out where we need to go. Yep, we just got off the plane and we made it. Eight hours, 45 minutes. There's literally nobody here. Go get ya. Go. So Mine do. of October, what is it, 5th, 2021, you're gonna need a negative 
RT-PCR test result. I would suggest printing out your results because, you know, Wi-Fi is iffy. You need your passport and your boarding pass. Uh, but your PCR test has to be within 72 hours of departure. Make sure you get your paperwork. It's always good to go old school style and have it printed off. So. See ya in Dubai. We just landed finally here. 24 hours on the plane. Whew. 8 o'clock yesterday, and now it's 11.50 here. So it's an eight four. hour time difference. What was the time difference in Hawaii? Eight or five? I think it was five, but we're finally here, guys. Now I get to see what the airport looks like in real life. It is currently 1.18 in the morning here in Dubai and we just got our rental car. It's a Ford Edge or something big enough for the three of us. So now we're about to head to our hotel. We're staying at the JW Marriott, I think, for the first two nights. So here we go. Okay, so quick little room tour. Here's the bathroom. Nice, huge shower. And they have the duvet. are two closets here and then we have the beds and the view but you can't really appreciate it because it's at night time but look at that view Our room came with twin size beds, they say. So they brought me this bed. And now we gotta move it over. That's no big American. America is a big. Um, I'm, I'm not a big American. I don't know what's happening. It's 2.30 in the morning, y'all. It is a lot going on. And I'm a lot awake. <laughs> so we're in the hotel about to get some about to get some room service at 2 30 in the morning and i'm over here playing with the remote control for the room because you can literally like turn stuff on and off Oops. so i'm just playing around playing around with it but i'm ready to eat take a shower and so we got Stella's, we have like a hummus dip, we have my wings, and we have quesadillas. Um, did the wings come with blue cheese or no? Oh, okay. Thank you. Yum, yum, yum. We are really in Dubai right now. Yeah. Yeah. 
got to have my blue cheese. Okay, I'm showered up. Dad's back there, mom's right there, and I'm about to lay down, so pretty sure we're gonna have a full day tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing quite yet, but just stay for the ride, okay? Because we're gonna do it all. So see y'all in the morning, bye. Okay, good morning, guys. Me and dad are headed to the gym. After this, I think we're gonna, he said, the mall, the fountain, basically like all of downtown. Mall fountains in Dubai frame today. Yeah. Check those off of our list. And other just general sightseeing. But definitely check, check, check. Mm-hmm. Well, we gotta get this workout in. done working out and now we're just exploring pretty much what we explored yesterday except everything's open and stuff so we'll probably go like around the perimeter of the hotel but now we can see everything while it's open and up and running I cannot believe we're in Dubai right now like this is still it's still hitting me like it's hitting me in weight y'all it is hot and I'm fully dressed I don't even know what I could compare it to, to be honest, but it's hot, okay? Um, it's not like super like intolerable, but it's hot. The views, it's the views for me though. It's the views. It's the views for me. Yes, I can't wait to get dressed, honey. Oh, they're cleaning. They're building everywhere. So we made it this far, but uh, it's kind of hot. We're gonna get dressed after this probably, but we're just appreciating, appreciating like all the architecture. They're building everywhere. So yeah, just taking a break in the shade because it's hot, y'all. It's hot. Just took my shower and put my pajamas on because I just ironed my actual outfit for today. But I'm about to do my makeup and I wanted to show y'all some of the new stuff that I got. So to try and combat the heat, I got this NYX Shine Killer Primer. And then I want to try a more like orangey blush. So I got these three blushes. And then I'm just gonna use concealer for my foundation. But that's not new. I, I always use this. This for my concealer. And then I have another setting spray that I'm gonna try out too, so. Okay, so I'm almost done with my makeup, but this is the new spray that I got from Amazon. It's literally like $10, but it's supposed to like keep your makeup on all day. I'll put the link below. It's called Moran Barrier Spray Sealer Fixate. So I'm gonna spray this and we're gonna test it out in this heat in Dubai. Wish me luck. Okay guys, so we are dressed up and now we are in the Dubai mall. We're going to go to the Burj Khalifa, but they told us you can enter through the mall. So we just valeted here and now we're gonna go 
to the haul. This is my outfit. Got everything from Shein. These are vintage Dior sunglasses. And yeah. So we're in the mall. Let me show you what it looks like. It's amazing. It's huge. Let me see, girl. What, what are those again? Ooh, that Burberry on them. Okay. Y'all, I'm so hurt. I came all the way to Dubai to get Mocha Mommy bronzer and they don't have it. They said it's discontinued and I went and checked on the website and it's not discontinued. So I'm like, what the heck? So now I have to wait and like, I guess find it somewhere else. But I really wanted to wear it out here because I wanted to look really, really bronzed. But whatever, I guess. Friend Samin, I got the mixed grilled shrimp and lamb with half rice, half salad. This is my food, guys. Hopefully, it tastes good. So, we're about to go to the Burj Khalifa viewing deck. It's on the 124th and 125th floor. And we're in line now. So, we just got our tickets and now we're about to go up. So we got all of our pictures and we're just taking in the view again. Like this is absolutely incredible. We're looking at all these buildings. Like this is just so crazy that we're really here able to see this in real life. The time is currently 6.38 p.m. here in Dubai and I was just thinking of how when I get rich and famous I'm gonna come back here and ball out because they literally have every single store you want and it's probably twice the size in your regular hometown mall like three stories two stories it's crazy the the Gucci store has two stories the Hermes store had two stories like huge Everything is huge. And we only saw like this much of the mall. Oh, somebody behind us. Jeez. This is how they park in front of the mall. This is the front right here. This is like the we, Lennox. Yeah, we didn't even come to the front. We thought we went to the front. Look at oh, that the Bentley drop Jeez. top. Oh, Ooh, look, look, at look at the uh look at the uh oh, that's a uh, Giardo Lamborghini. Ooh, that is. I'm trying to see. Look who what's next to out. it. Look what's next to it. Chris G Wagon. G Wagon. Brown. Ferrari. Is that an Audi truck? Breezy. No, that's a Bentley truck. A Bentley truck. I mean, goodness gracious. We just saw it all just then. Yeah, I gotta get me a um, billionaire like Rihanna. Okay, we are back in the room. Successful first day. Um, we did pretty much everything we wanted to do except for the frame for today. Now, they're kind of tired, but I want to go somewhere. So we'll see if that happens or not. But I had to wrap my hair down because it was looking kind of funky and um, I don't like that. So I'll check in with y'all if I get into something later. It's literally only 8 o'clock, but it's weird because back home it's 12 o'clock p.m. So the time difference is crazy, but yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute, maybe. Hi, is this 
this room service? And then we're gonna get two um, bullfrog cocktails. Okay, thank you so much. So yeah, y'all, we just got us some drinky drinks because as you can see, she's dressed, but these two are in the bed. So this one is supposed to be going out with me to be my escort and she's gonna come out another night, right? Who coming out tonight? No. Stay. Best friend is staying here. She needs uh, to rest. So, but yeah, so this is what I'm wearing. You'll see it later. Hey. Check this out. Let's come show my swag real quick. Put it back. Yeah, look at the swag. The, uh, this time we're going to Dubai. Yeah. So, uh, shoes, close up. Close up on the shoes. Yeah. We do. We about to step out a little bit, ball out a little bit. Yeah, you know, something really slight. We're going to this place called Treehouse, Dubai. Y'all, we from Atlanta, so we call Shisha Hookah, but apparently that's very American. So, Shisha it is. I'm super excited. I put my scarf on because my mom said it looked cute with my outfit. This is my outfit. This is my outfit. Everything is from Shein. Jacob's bag, but that's what I'm wearing out. Oh, vintage Chanel sunnies on the head, by the way. <laughs> that's what I'm wearing out tonight. Okay guys, that's it for day one. Stay tuned for day two tomorrow. Good night. See you later. Yeah. So guys, we're checking out, but one of our lovely employees of the guest, I mean employees of the hotel just told us that we've been staying in the tallest hotel in Dubai and we didn't even know. So, I don't know it look crazy right now, but I'm gonna show you guys the view. But, I, but this is the tallest building, tallest hotel in Dubai. Excuse me, tallest hotel in the world. Not just only in Dubai, in the world. hotel in the world at the JW Marriott Marquis Dubai had no idea this whole time that we were staying there it's crazy so um, I don't know where we're going right now but I need to put a little bit of makeup on this face so that's what I'm about to do real quick not too much like I did yesterday even though it held up pretty well actually that spray that I tested out I think I might like it so yeah, I'm just gonna like clean up my brows real quick, add a little bit of concealer under my eyes, and probably put on some mascara for right now. I might add some more later, but I'll check in with you guys once we are at our next destination. Always felt like my vision being bigger than a bigger picture. 
crazy. Yeah, you gotta wait until it's dark out to see what really which. We are here in the Jumeirah Beach area. Um, it was like 26, basically 30 minutes away from where we originally were. And now we're trying to figure out somewhere that we can eat real quick and then we're gonna figure out like where we're gonna stay, our next hotel that we're gonna stay at. Oh my God. Ah! There's a freaking fly bug thing. Um, so my mom is all the way over there and my dad is all the way over there. So I don't know what we doing, but um, it's Starbucks, this place called Texas Chicken, McDonald's, and like hella hotels. So let's figure out what we need to eat because it's like three o'clock and we haven't eaten anything. Look at what they have in their McDonald's. They have blueberry cheesecake. Oh my God. Wow. Never seen this. This is like the McCafe part. Isn't that crazy? Uh, in the in uh, Bangkok, uh, in Laos, they had this in Laos. Okay, guys, we got our church's chicken. Texas chicken. I mean, we got our Texas chicken. Let's tell them the history. Texas chicken is basically church's chicken, but it's named differently in different countries because you know different religions and things. But um, it's literally the same thing. Now I gotta see if it tastes the same. in 25 countries and, and they're raking in one million dollars and that's no, from a, a billion one billion dollars sorry and that's from an article that i was reading from 2017 so just imagine now in 2021 okay so now we're gonna go check out the shops and stuff like near the beach we just got done eating and yeah look at the views Cavaliers. Check in. Thank you, sir. Thank you. to play with this is crazy beautiful but yeah like i was saying it's freaking beautiful i can't wait to take pictures and explore this huge resort of course they have like the world's largest um aqua park like water park i think and like an aquarium is inside here it's freaking crazy i did not expect it to be this big like all the videos i've seen of course i knew it was going to be big but I didn't know it was gonna be like huge. Oh, it's better lighting here. So yeah, once we get checked in, I'll show you guys the room and we'll just go from there, but I'm super excited.